This year for fall break, we are in Puerto Panasco, Rocky Point, Mexico, and we are going to have an adventure. For our kids' fall break, we are headed to Arizona's beach in Puerto Panasco, Rocky Point, Mexico. They call this Arizona's beach because it is a quick four-hour drive from Phoenix, and Arizona license plates are almost as common here as Mexico license plates. Many people coming to Rocky Point stay in one of the condos in the beach resort area, and maybe we'll give this a try next time, but this time we decided to rent a cute little beach house at Las Conchas and we loved it. This beach house was right within walking distance of the beach. It had Wi-Fi and Netflix. There was plenty of room to stretch out and the price was very affordable. Welcome to Mexico, Madeline and Letty. Bienvenidos. What do you think of this? This is so cool. You are in Mexico. Do you know how to speak Spanish now? Hola. <laughs> Hola. Wow, you did learn. You know where to go. Yeah. Stairs. Where is he? Oh! We couldn't have been happier with our beach rental. If you want to do something like this, there are plenty of websites you can check out like Airbnb or VRBO. Once you get on these sites, you'll see there are tons of options. Our first night here, we had a little bit of an adventure. So we wanted an adventure and that's what we are getting. We went to this place called Pollo Lucas and it's supposed to be really good. And we got there and they ran out of chicken. And now our cell phone coverage is not working, so we have no idea exactly where we're going. We stopped at this place because it looks lively, and we will give it a try out. Okay, what are we gonna do, Mom? Everyone take a taste. We don't normally drink Coca-Cola, but when you're in Mexico, you do. So. How does it taste? Is it better? Good. Yep. Always better in Mexico. <laughs> When we got back from eating that evening, we were greeted with a treat. Seriously? Where's that coming from? <laughs> I think I know what it's coming from. Let's go find it. It's a marching band. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. Our, our neighbors are in a mariachi band. I have no idea. We just got done eating tacos in town. They were great. When we got back to the beach house, we opened up our car doors and we heard this. Apparently, our neighbors have a mariachi band in their backyard. So we literally just moved our party outside and danced along with the music. The next day, we took the girls to the beach. We went to Playa Bonita, or beautiful beach.
Oh my goodness, I found an ocean spider. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh, it's an ocean spider. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, it was just seaweed. <laughs> now you look like a sailor. <laughs> Today is our first full day at Rocky Point and we are spending the day at Playa Bonita or beautiful beach. This is a perfect beach for young families. The water is warm, the waves are tame, the sand is soft. We are having a blast here at the beach today. What are you making, Carrie Ann? It's a sea turtle. What? Wow. I was actually standing up on the board for a super long time. What So Playa Bonita, or beautiful beach, is right next to Sandy Beach, and Sandy Beach is right in front of the resorts. It's all one big, long beach. So on the south side is Playa Bonita, or beautiful beach, and on the north side is Sandy Beach, and that is where all of the resorts are. All of the beaches in Rocky Point are public beaches, but getting access to the beach is another question. Sandy Beach is fronted by all of the big resorts and there is no way to get direct access to Sandy Beach unless you are staying at one of the resorts or RV parks that fronts Sandy Beach. But there is a public parking lot where you can pay to gain access to Playa Bonita or beautiful beach. It is just off of Calle 13 and then if you are down there at beautiful beach, you can walk down to the sandy beach, but it's really just one big beach there and we had a great time hanging out at beautiful beach. All along the beach, you'll find a lot of vendors walking up and down selling food, selling little trinkets and jewelry. There's also people in the water offering their services of jet ski rentals or banana boat rides. So we decided to take the kids on a banana boat ride. Where do you want to go, Isaac? Banana boat. You want on the banana boat? Uh -huh. You ready for the banana boat? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay who's ready? <laughs> Hold on tight! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Come on. Come on, Lenny. Give me your hand. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here, Lenny. Give me your hand. Are you okay, Lenny? You're okay. Hold on. Was awful. Okay. You ready, Letty? Okay, hold on tight. <laughs>
banana boat ride isn't a banana boat ride unless at least someone gets bucked from the banana boat. The kids really had fun at the Playa Bonita Beach. They're used to the California beaches, which were a lot colder and bigger waves. But here at Playa Bonita, the water was warm. The waves were really small. We could let the kids go out and play without worrying too much. We also spent time at the beach here at Las Conchas. I think I preferred the beaches at Sandy Beach and Beautiful Beach just because the sand was a little bit better. Here, there was a lot of shells and the sand was a little bit coarser. So if you come play at the beach at Las Conchas, bring some water shoes. But however you do it, the beaches here at Rocky Point are perfect for young families. The water is warm and the ocean is tame. Your kids are going to love it. Another fun thing about our time here in Rocky Point was going out and experiencing the local food. One of our favorite restaurants was a place called Coffee House. They spell it K-A-F-F-E-E-H-A-U-S. We went there for breakfast. They also have great lunches. This one was probably our favorite place that we went. It had a fun, quaint little atmosphere. They piled the pancakes high. The food was delicious. And when we were leaving, they gave all the kids little gummy worms. Any place that gives kids gummy worms is high on my list. Another place that you need to try out if you come to Rocky Point is Pollo Lucas. They are known for their charbroiled chicken. They'll give you chicken, beans and rice, flour tortillas. So good. And you cannot beat the price for a chicken and a half for our family with tortillas, beans, rice and sodas. It only costs $20. Needless to say, we left a generous tip. Another fun place to try is the Wreck at the Reef. Now, the Wreck at night turns into a bar and nightclub. But if you go during the day, it's perfect for families. We got a table right on the beach and we ordered chicken baskets, shrimp and fish baskets. They came with tons of fries. The girls loved it. Another fun thing is to try and get some churros. We found a street vendor who was offering homemade churros and they were delicious. What is that? Delicious. Say churro. Churro. You like the churro? <laughs> um, tonight we bought churros and they might taste yummy. Mm. So we'll include links below to the restaurants we visited in case you want to go check them out. We also had a really fun time going and exploring the street market at the Mexican Rodeo Drive. Each of the girls saved a little bit of money and then they brought that money to Mexico and they were anxious to spend it on something here. So they each found something they wanted to take home from the Mexican Rodeo Drive. So Kate and Letty picked out backpacks. You got a backpack? What color is it? Purple. Purple? I love it. Good job. Our cool little Madeline got some sunshades. Isaac got a squirt gun, and before we went to the market, we had a little pep talk with Eliza. If you know Eliza at all, you know that she loves stuffed animals and has tons of them. And we all agreed that she did not need another stuffed animal. But at the market, she found a little Mexican doll, she fell in love with it, and got herself another little doll. It has green bow hair. I love it. So here are a few tips that we have for families visiting Mexico. One tip is to bring cash. You'll find that most of the places don't accept your credit card, but they will accept your American money. So bring cash and small bills. Another tip is if you plan on using your cell phone here in Mexico, which we found very helpful in navigating the city, when you cross the border into Mexico, you're going to get a text from your cell phone carrier saying, hey, do you want to get the travel pass? We said yes, and we thought we were set, but we didn't know that you need to reset your phone, turn it on and off. We spent the first afternoon wandering around the city without cell phone coverage because we didn't know that we needed to turn the phone on and off. We did that and it fixed the problem. Another tip is to bring plenty of water. We just brought some water bottles with us. It was super convenient for walking around and we could also bring water, water bottles with us when we went to the restaurants if we got tired of drinking all the great sodas that they offered. <laughs> 
definitely take advantage of the bottled sodas that they have. Our kids have never drank so much soda in their life. They loved it. I don't know what it is about it, but the soda seemed to taste even better coming out of the glass bottles. Our final tip is just to come to Rocky Point and have an adventure. We had a lot of family members who were worried for our safety. <laughs> we had a lot of family members who were worried for our safety, but Candidly, there was not even a single moment here where we had any fear for our safety. We felt completely safe and comfortable. Do your research, be smart. But if you are doing these things, we felt absolutely comfortable being here in Mexico and we are definitely gonna be back again here with our family. So for our last afternoon here in Rocky Point, we are hanging out at Las Conchas Beach this is the beach right here by the house that we are staying at. And we're just gonna have a relaxing evening playing here at the beach. One, two, go. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Did I let go of you? I'm gonna miss this house. Well, we had a wonderful time in Rocky Point. The beach is perfect for young families. The food was delicious, and we loved introducing our children to the beautiful people and culture here at Sonora, Mexico. Thanks so much for watching our video. Bye. Bye.